Assalamu alaikum YouTube, this is Xenomics. I'm going to be showing you how to add soft focus effects to your photographs or images on Photoshop. Now the Photoshop I'm using is Photoshop CS5, but what I'm going to show you should be able to work on all the previous versions. So let's go. First I'm going to take the elliptical marquee tool, okay, and I'm going to see if I can select the face. Now you may have noticed that there seems to be a focus effect done already. I managed to do that with the camera, but we're going to make it look even better. So I'm going to see if I can select the face. It doesn't have to be an accurate selection. So I'm just going to take the marquee tool once again and try and select this area. And I like the fact, you know, it doesn't really matter if this part was missed out or this part was missed out. As long as the face has been selected, it's alright. So now I'm going to do Control shift i so I can select the inverse of what I selected previously. So anything I'll do now will not affect the face. It will affect everything but the face, which I've selected. So I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Yeah, just put it on 10 for now. And if I feel like I need to add more blur, I don't have to go to the Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur again. I can just hold Control F once, for example. See, now it's done radius blur of 10 pixels again. And if I need to blur it again, Control F once again. Now, just to add another cool touch, I'm just going to do Control L, which is Levels. I'm going to see if I can darken the bits outside the selection so it will make the face stand out even more now you don't have to go too crazy with the darkening because really a little bit of movement a little bit of tweaking here will give you a nice effect so I'll press ok now I'm gonna do control D and as you can see now it's more focused on her face there is something else we're gonna do to the face to make it you know seem even more kind of uh, obvious and prominent that's by sharpening the face but I don't feel like we need to do it that on this example. So let's just see what we did. I've already opened up the original image and it's here. And I just want to show you the difference. So if I grab this like this, get them out. There we go. We can clearly see that the image below is a lot better than the image above. I see the effect. You can see the difference here. Obviously, the face is still the same because I've not done anything with the face. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, remember to check out more tutorials on Xenomix Tutorials channel. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.